Hey folks, welcome to Azure Bro Gaming. Today I'm going to show you a handy iPhone tutorial. I'm going to show you how to transfer your video recordings from your iPhone device to your Windows 10 computer. I'll also show you how to convert that video from MOV to MP4. And I'll also show you how to edit the video using DaVinci Resolve. There's one audio tweak I got to show you so that you'd be aware how to make sure the video is accessible for video editing software. As always, if you like these types of videos, if you appreciate my content, make sure to leave, give me a like in the video and subscribe to the channel as well. Let's go. So the first thing you gotta do is to make sure you know how to transfer your files. If you don't do this in your phone, you will not be able to transfer files. Basically, what do you do? You go to your iPhone settings, you scroll all the way down to photos and you scroll all the way down again and you will click keep originals under transfer to PC or Mac. So this way the computer knows that it will keep the original files on the phone and it will also allow you to transfer them to your computer. All right. So uh, once we've done this, we're going to go to this PC. We'll go to, to the iPhone and uh, we'll we'll copy our test video here. All right, all right. Now we got it. Okay, so one of the one issue that I've encountered when I was oh, I was copying the video was that I couldn't I couldn't open it um, using the photos or Microsoft Media Player. The Windows Media Player, I think it just played the audio. So that's an MOV file. Uh, it's not broken. So what are you gonna do is you need this useful app called um, VLC player. So I've been using it for many years. It's legit. Um, usually if you know a tech savvy person, they have a VLC installed on their computer. Anyway, so uh, I'll link uh, this page in the description below. So you download VLC and then you go to properties, change, and you make sure you run it with a VLC media player. Just an FYI, don't download VLC from Microsoft Store. It seems to be some kind of weird application which doesn't work. Make sure you do it through their website. All right, so here's our test video. It's right here. Let's let's run it again. Test video, test, test. All right, so we got audio. Awesome. That's how you know the VLC is working. Now we got to make sure... Um, we can work the video, right? So you have to convert it to MP4 format. That's uh, that's very easy to do. So once again, you open it. Test video, test, test. Sorry about that. So you take your video on the top left corner, you click, click on media, you click on convert or save. So basically you can do the control, control R if you want. All right, so first we're gonna add the file we're working with. So obviously the file we're working with right now. All right, so now we're gonna go to convert. All right, so we're gonna choose our format. We want H.264, that's the most standard format I've seen. Make sure it's an MP4. But before you start converting, obviously you have to uh, figure out where you're gonna save the file. So we're gonna call it the same thing, but convert it. And the last thing you got to do, make sure you click on the, on this little icon here and under audio, make sure it always says MP EG for audio AAC. Usually it chooses MPG by default. So make sure you choose this one. So this way you will actually have audio in uh, DaVinci Resolve. So you click save. So we'll go ahead and convert it to MP4, give it some time. If you have a good computer, I have a high-end machine, it still takes some time to convert your files. How do you know if it's converting? It actually says uh, converting up there. So it was a pretty short video, so it, it converted. All right, let's put the VLC away. Now we're gonna open DaVinci Resolve. We're gonna start a new project, test video. Whoops. It keeps opening on my left monitor for some reason. So we're going to import media. We'll do the converted file. We're not going to change the frame rate. Uh, we're going to go to edit. And our video, I already see it here. It has audio. 
Huh. Yeah, it's not coming out of the right uh, device. Like, I, I know there's audio, but it's not coming out. So what we're going to do, uh, we're going to click on DaVinci Resolve. We'll go to Preferences, Audio Plus, uh, Video and I Audio, I.O. Uh, speaker Configuration, you can obviously choose your... Uh, uh, default device, but if in case if that's not working, you know, that's fine. Um, uh, you go manual under speaker configuration, you choose the speaker name, stereo, you save that. Let's give it another go. Test, test. Yeah, I could hear that now. So basically, I showed you everything um, the way I usually do it. So make sure you go into your phone settings, change it over to keep original files, copy your files off of your iPhone. Download VLC player, convert it to MP4, choose AAC audio quality, then convert to MP4, then insert into your DaVinci Resolve, and there you have it. I think that was pretty clear. It, there could be a lot of videos like this one on the internet, but I really wanted to share one that I found useful. And that's my workflow when it comes to recording videos on my phone and then editing them in DaVinci Resolve. Hopefully you guys found it useful. As always, subscribe to the channel to show me your support. Give me a thumbs up or a dislike. If you have any feedback, let me know in the comments. Y'all take care, friends. I'm going to see you next time.